May the 14th, 2020. Guys, you're looking at uh, satellite images over the Gulf of Mexico. You can see that you've got uh, a system moving east that's over central Texas. And we've got this tropical system now in the Straits of Florida right there. This thing is strengthening, and it's a 40% chance of development in the next two days. The 70% chance uh, as you get further into the weekend of it. After it moves across the southern tip of Florida and moves up the east coast, we'll take a look at that. You can see there's energy involved here, and there's kind of a battle. You've got uh, the upper level wind shear that's very strong. You can move, see, see it moving across Florida. You've got the disturbance down near the surface here. I mean, more than likely, it's going to do just what they're saying, move right over the tip and up into this section of the Atlantic off the coast of the Carolinas. Now, this is the uh, morning update. They're going to update this thing again at around 3 p.m. Eastern time this afternoon. But you've got a 40% chance now of development. This is the two-day forecast, not the five-day because we're getting close to the weekend. It's 8.30 this morning, an area of cloudiness and thunderstorms located over the Straits of Florida. It's forecast to spread northeastward during the next day or two. Environmental conditions are expected to become conducive for development, and the system is likely to become a tropical or subtropical depression or storm. This weekend, when it is located near or north the northwestern Bahamas, the system is forecast to move generally northeastward over the western Atlantic early next week, regardless of development. The disturbance is expected to bring locally heavy rainfall and gusty winds to portions of the southeastern Florida and the central and northwestern Bahamas over the next couple of days. The next special tropical weather outlook again will be uh, at 3 p.m. Eastern. Now, if you go out to the five-day forecast, again, looking at the five-day forecast, 70% chance of development. This hasn't changed in the text, and this is the same. You've, over the next few days, are watching for 70% chance of a tropical storm or subtropical storm. And as we looked at it uh, on the models yesterday, and we'll do that, just be aware you've got two systems that are going to skirt the uh, eastern coast of the U.S., now, as we let this Navy model, the same one we looked at in the video last night, as we let it move forward, by the 18th, the storm has moved up and it's off the North Carolina coast, right on the very edges. We'll go through this right about there. you got uh, May 19th. We back it up. You'll see the impacts. It started by the 18th right there. That's the 18th. Storm has wrapped up a lot stronger than it is now. We don't know how far. Uh, large it would get no one has said yet but the models are predicting that you're going to have a pretty good wind field right in that area by the 18th so as we go through this there's a 19th moves out westward and actually takes a dip back south in the last couple of frames of this model notice that loop we'll let it play through right there move out and then a kind of a dip back south. We'll just have to watch it. The models change every day. Now let's switch to the CDC or CMC, excuse me, the Canadian model. And you'll see that the storm follows the same basic path until it gets up off the coast of North Carolina. That's your high pressure, pressure system. Here's a storm moving. And notice instead of moving out into the Atlantic very far, this thing loops back in to the U.S. right in this area above New York. Check that out. So the models are going to change, but it could be a very wet weekend up until Monday or Tuesday or so for the East Coast, guys. We're watching it and keep an eye on the uh, update this afternoon. We're going to watch it through. So, guys, just stay tuned to our YouTube channel, and we post these over on our website at bpearthwatch.com also. We're watching it. It's a heads up. Be safe.